Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And actually, before I want to go, before I go any further, I just want to remind you, Tom O'Brien's doing this webinar on Friday. You hear him every day, three o'clock to four o'clock, and he discusses in great detail how he uses his um, uh, different techniques and what, you know, a major thing that he uses is volume. Uh, and expansion A to B equals C to D, et cetera. Um, and these are, uh, are techniques that I mean, he does live. So you can actually see them work and you know that they work. So I, yeah, take take the opportunity, check it out, uh, check the front page out, and you can you get this book, you get a whole bunch of things with it. It's really, it should be fabulous. So that's a webinar all day with Tom O'Brien. We're looking at the Dow down 152, kind of struggling, but you remember in this pattern here, you can go sideways for quite a while, and that's exactly what we're doing in this oval pattern. So it's a break above 33,272 is the breakout to the upside. A close below 32,509 would be very negative. Uh, the Dow, that's the Dow. The S&P, also within the narrow range, uh, trading down 16 and 41.44. It really needs the 41.68 area to start moving higher and must hold 41.32. Uh, We're looking at the QQQ, this is the NDX 100, doing very nicely. Now down 3 cents at 309.84. Also stuck in a range for now, but uh, technically seems to be holding a little bit better. We'll talk about it a little bit better. The IWM is the one that actually has been doing much better on a chart formation in the daily, not so much the weekly, and it's down $1.37 to 189 Gold is up um, 6 and a half. It's doing okay, but it's that 1868 area, the 200-period moving average, that it has to snap above, and it's been struggling to break above it. You're looking at crude oil, made another high today. It's trading at 120.71 in the continuous contract, up $1.31. It is leg D, so we're going to end the on-balance volume is a tad overbought. We're going to be watching this closely. The TLT, I never even did that in my show, the Tiger's Munitions are a few minutes ago, because it's just kind of stuck in the low range. 114.88, so yields are still moving high. So VIX index, if the VIX index trading at 24.12 right now, so as to push to 24.80 or higher, after 2.30 this afternoon, that's going to be negative. But if it starts to pull back and go to the 2370s or lower, as the Dow gets to maybe only a minus 60, that would mean that you could have a, a reasonable close with the Dow down only slightly. So this is a very important uh, couple of sessions we're looking at. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry Pesavento. Then you've got Think or Swim. You've got uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien wraps it up. Don't forget Tom's uh, webinar on Friday. Have a wonderful day. Bowser Chapman signing